In this video, I'm going to highlight the main causes of flooding and go through how you can interpret a hydrograph. So in this video I'm going to look at the different causes of flooding and then also how to interpret a hydrograph. So you can divide the main causes of flooding into different categories and we've got physical and human factors. So the first physical factor is how much precipitation. So when river channels cannot contain the large volume of water falling in a short amount of time or if there has been sustained rainfall over several days that can affect the amount of flooding we see. Uh, the different types of rocks, so we've got impermeable and permeable rocks. Permeable rocks allow water to be absorbed and therefore slowing down the water flow. However, impermeable do not allow water to pass through it and this could lead to faster water flow which could increase the risk of flooding. Then we've got the relief, so steeper slopes generally increase the risk of flooding due to faster runoff. So moving on to human factors and how we influence the environment. The increase of urbanisation and construction can lead to more flooding. So through the process of constructing new roads, housing estates and buildings, this can all lead to an increase in impermeable surfaces. So the amount of deforestation we see. So as the forests are cleared, this takes away a lot of greenery that naturally absorbs and uses water. Clearing woodland can dramatically increase the risk of flooding. And then we've got farming, so if the soil is left bare and there are no plants to intercept the rainfall, again this can lead to further runoff. A hydrograph shows the amount of discharge into a river following precipitation. In this example the yellow bar chart shows the amount of rainfall over the specified hours. In this case the peak rainfall was around about 12 o'clock. Following this peak, the amount of discharge shown by the blue line increases and this is referred to as the rising limb. The peak discharge of 55 cumics occurs around 9 o'clock in the evening. Lag time is one of the most important pieces of information on this hydrograph. The lag time is the time it takes between peak rainfall and peak discharge. This is how quickly water is transferred into the river. Once the discharge has peaked, there will be a gradual reduction and the falling limb will track the discharge back to its normal flow. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out more videos in my rivers series and subscribe for more GCSE geography videos coming soon.